Oh hi guys, today we're gonna take a look at the differences between a few bearings. Now uh, I use these bearings for making fidget toys and tweak around them. So I have five of them here today. The first one is an ABEC 9 stainless steel and then I have a ceramic with aluminum oxidized, ABEC 9 as well. Uh, that one's actually with plastic shield, sorry not shield, plastic uh, bearing holders, spacers. And then this one is um, uh, SI3 and 4 silicone nitride with stainless spacer. And then the SI3 and 4 with a plastic spacer. And the last one is ABEC 11 with plastic spacer. So we're going to take a look at the difference of these guys. Now the f I'm going to use a pen cap so I can actually just put it on and stain it for you so you can see clearly the effect. Now the first one is obviously spinning right there, very rough, vibrating from ABEC 9 stainless with stainless shield. This shield isn't helping at all, it just wobbles around all over the place and then actually kills the balance as well. And you get this vibrating come from slightly dusted uh, dirty bearing but <laughs> because the shield is removed it's always gonna be dirty so you kind of have to live with that and then you have no although this one is actually performing the the one thing I find good about these is they're easy to clean and then after they clean up the performance doesn't degrade much right okay let's take a look at the next one which is the aluminum oxide or you can call them AL203 now this isn't particularly good obviously you don't need to clean out the grease like the stainless ones these I have to clean out the grease so they spin freely but this one is coming like that so it actually spins quite well from the box but then these are not very well made I just have to say they vibrate as much as the other ABEC 9 stainless steel which they shouldn't be because ideally with the plastic spacer they should spin much much smooth, smoother they do actually spin longer though than the stainless one much much longer actually from the performance point of view so if I put into a fidget toy uh, spinner this probably lasts me about a minute and a half and then the other guy this, this guy will only last me about 40-50 seconds so that's how much difference they are now the next up we have the uh, SI3 and 4 with stainless cage this guy is an interesting one because uh, I was expecting this to be much performer as they are a better ceramic than the uh, white one and they are actually be better made as well. These are much much more expensive than the aluminum oxide ones. But this one isn't performing very well. In particular you can actually see there's actually a slight wobble between the fitting. It's not fitted very well. Although it is ABEC 9 standard that actually puts me off thinking this is probably an ABEX 7 rather than ABEX 9 if the same bearings are actually used in uh, it's made by from stainless steel now the best one we have today here is obviously this guy this is the silicon nitride with the plastic cage on it this guy just being so smoothly now unfortunately this one is slightly looped cated so when I actually spin, it doesn't really spin for that long. I haven't got the chance to remove the like, oil inside, so it doesn't uh, give you that long spin time. But you also see there's no vibration out of it. The oil may actually help to reduce the vibration. we see when I get it out. But this is okay. When you put a weighty uh, weight on the side of the spinner, this thing actually spins quite okay. Now, the last one I want to look at, which is a surprise, is these new ABEC 11 standard stainless be bearings. Now this one in particular actually comes with plastic cages, which somehow actually tells you the quality actually is upper, uh, upper notch than the stainless ones. Um, these ones are actually gorgeous and they spin so smooth. You can see that they fly and they don't stop, they just keep going on. You get that slightly vibrate, yes, from the dust. But it doesn't really affect the performance and they just keep going and these are much cheaper than these ones oh that's a bad one you can just hear a dust just probably got in and then it just kind of like uh, wobbles a lot now uh, let me flip it. let me just give it a good spin so the dust is actually out of the way and there you go it's cleared out so they spin so beautifully 
and they cost a fraction of these uh, ceramic ones. This one costs about five times more than this guy. And then obviously, this is already expensive bearing. So uh, for stainless, this is quite expensive already. But the performance is just fantastic. I try to give you a quick overview of uh, all these. So hope you enjoy and like and learn something about these bearings. That's it for today then. Thank you.